Hi, I'm Amy Shannon, and this is another episode of Exposed Mobility Impaired Dinner. Um, I have sent out um, second letters to people that I have already sent letters to, and I have staff just waiting for my stamps to come in the mail, um, because as the post office told me, in the United States post office, the federal post the United States Post Office told me that if I want to use their products, then I should shop my mail. So, I ordered my stamps now, I'm waiting for them to come. And I ordered them last week, and they're coming supposedly today. So, um, it takes a week to get them, but it doesn't take me a week to go to the post office. And if I do parcels, I either have to have somebody send them out for me or go to the post office myself to do the post office. Anyway, um, I've, when I first started this, I had this huge, broad thing going on, thinking, oh, these are all the things that people, um, that should be changed in the world because of, you know, there's been mobility impaired persons since the dawn of time. And there just seems so many things that are not easily accessible, or you actually have, if you're mobility impaired um, and you're semi-independent or you're independent because, because you can use um, a device that make you independent, um, sometimes we still have to get out, go out of our way. Um, I use my wheelchair out in public because it's hard to walk. Um, and I've, the last week or so, I've realized that only half my left foot wants to work. So sometimes I even have to sit more around the house and I know how it feels to walk on the side of my foot. Um, anyway, there's the cleaning thing going on and vent. So this, um, I haven't been out much, um, by myself. I've had to do a few things where somebody would drive me places and some of it was it's fun. We had a nice um, visit to uh, Vermont. My son, who is combat worker, was best friend Alex, son Lewis, and his wife, Felicia. We all went to Alex Grove. We went to the Apple Barn. Um, I was able to get around in my chair, except I must say, there was because there was some sloping. My chair wanted to go one way when we went to the other way. But otherwise, getting in and out of that place was um, great. It's a, it's in Bennington, Vermont. It's, really, it's fun to go to that kind of place. Um, not that long ago, we went to the apple orchard and I hung on to my son. But what I liked about the apple orchard is that you know they actually drive you around to the area where you do your apple picking. So I had to very slowly and very carefully. Um, I was going around, but I was holding it to me six foot five. And even they did actually lower some of it just like actually pick something off the tree and feel like I accomplished it. And I did make apple pie, did make pumpkin pie, homemade from scratch. And it was yeah, bad, but I didn't have some pies to do with the old fashioned, cut off the apples, puree the pumpkin, buy the canned puree of pumpkin. So, you know, days like that, yeah, I get tired easy. Now I get tired, sorry. I get tired easy just sitting alone in my chair. But I am doing 
what I can. I have been frustrated that it feels like I am the only person who gives a damn about my cause. And basically, I want to be able to have um, public access, have it set so persons with uh, mobility aids, walkers, crutches, wheelchairs, canes, scooters, you name it, you know, be able to go into public buildings um, easily. Someone holding the door for you, though it is sometimes easy, depending on how they do it, um, is not necessarily easy. Uh, especially when they're standing there in the doorway, holding the door. So, but the thought counts. Um, Lightweight doors, you know, if I didn't have full use of my hands and some use of my feet, um, which I actually have to maneuver to get in, and it's easier for me to go in on the left side since I'm right-handed um, because I have to maneuver my chair. It is not always easy to do so. You have an automatic door, it's buttons, it's great. You can get in and out. I know some place ha places have small space and you can always go into certain areas. Um, so I make do with what I have. Um, I do use uh, online shopping more because you know, sometimes I don't want to risk getting hit by a car as I cross the street. And other times it just, um, if I only have a couple groceries, I'll go it. if I have where I have to have the bundle in my um, scooter and um, I, I just do like um, online ordering. So yeah, there's that. Or I'll have my one of my sons help me and I go to the store for me. Um, so there's that. And I um I do get frustrated. And what I've noticed too is that some things I've gotten used to. So I stopped, I, I just don't even they just you know don't let it bother me anymore. You just get used to it all the time. But when I was with my sons and they noticed how certain people are when they're trying to get past me or having me get past them they notice it and I'm like, they get very irritated just kind of get used to it um the other day we were uh, at a um a liquor store warehouse um, in clifton park and um, i was in my chair and i asked um and one of my sons, we, we all went into the store and one of my sons um, pushed the cart. And I was um, picking out my wine and uh, they were putting it in. And this woman was coming up the aisle. She was closest to where the wine was. So I maneuvered out of the way um, while my son finished loading the cart. And, and I didn't even think about it. I mean, I was just like, oh, excuse me. And I try to move as far as I could out of my way. And as she was going down the aisle, she was moving her heart more towards where I was going rather than wait for me to pass or just stay where she was and keep going. And Lewis got very irritated with that. He said, she kept trying to move over into your, your aisle. And it wasn't a very wide aisle. <clears throat> excuse me and and he's like she picked something from the other side and so basically you know, if people who can walk by themselves they don't want to go out of their way why should people who cannot walk by themselves have to go out of their way? So, 
um, I don't like to get into people's ways and my sons keep telling me to stop that you know, train of thought. Um, but even when I was just walking around pushing the cart, I try to get out of people's way if I have to stop, like do my calculations or I'm looking for something specific, you know, I don't want to, not one of those people that will sit right in the middle of the aisle. I go to the one side of where I am looking for product and try to be out of people's way. And sometimes if an aisle has a lot of people in it, go down the next aisle. So I would get people's way. And I guess that just, it's something I got used to, um, and then you know, things happen. Um, and I, I was talking to my son the other day, and I said, you know, I don't know very many, I don't know anybody besides me that, I mean, personally, um, that there are people that I know, and they use mobility aid. I'm sorry. I didn't know that, you know, so I'm talking and I'm having some views. Yay, I've got 43 views on the video. Um, I don't know if people are sharing. People, a couple of people commenting. It's positive. But I was hoping that more people cared or gave a damn about this particular issue. Um, if you're disabled, you should be able to go wherever you want to go, whether you have an aid with you, like a person. Sorry about that. Quick phone call back here. So, where was it? Oh, yes. Like I said, I I know I have supporters and I have people that say, oh, good for you, you know, being an advocate, those that are ability impaired, those who are disabled. But I'm not, I don't know people like that directly. People in similar situations, um, maybe even not the, um, maybe not even mobility impaired, but have some type of neurological issues like I have. Um, mine were, were caused by head trauma. Um, and, um, you know, I was always in a wheelchair just over the years, things progress sometimes slowly, sometimes quickly. Um, but, you know, I'm not just doing this for me. I, I guess it's just because I found out what it was like, you know, when you're putting somebody's shoes and you find you're, you're in a similar situation, or I should say, or I, I was finally put in a set of wheels. I, I noticed when I was using my rollator walker, that people would rush to get past me because I was walking slowly. Um, but sometimes, very rarely, some people would rush in front of me to get the door from, which was very nice. Um, in my chair, it's kind of like the same thing. Um, and I noticed too, more that when people are leaving aisles, like in the grocery store or any store, you know, where there's a lot of aisles, they don't always look around the corner. And it's not just for people like me, um, but just in general, they're not like when they go around the corner, they're not going like this to see if somebody's coming. Um, I've almost got hit a couple times. Uh, one time I did get hit lightly by his shopping cart, and the person apologized. Yay. But, um, you know, 
mishaps happen all the time and it doesn't matter if you're pushing a cart you're driving around with one of those cart things you're in a chair you're in a mobility scooter whatever so you know maybe people need to pay more attention to where they're going um moving forward where they're you know look to where they're going but, you know but also look to where they've been as well um, so if uh you are someone who is mobility impaired and um, agrees with even part of my um, mission um i like i said i've narrowed it down one battle at a time they always say that you know one person can make a difference and I was trying to, but not just for me, but for others. And I, I don't think that one person can make a difference if that person is me. Um, I'm not going to give up. I've focused on giving up. Um, I've thought about, oh, this is it. You know, I'm done. But no, I've decided I'm not done. It gives me something to do. It gives me a purpose, and I still want to be able to help people, whether they like it or not. <laughs> no, not like that. And so thank you for listening. And if you are someone, you can always comment, um, subscribe to my uh, YouTube channel. I have a, a, a website. All my links are on my YouTube channel. Um, so you can comment below, click the subscribe button. If you want notifications, click the bell button. And if you want, you can email me directly, amyshan75 gmail.com, and let me know um, how I can help or tell me your story. I would love to be able to have more um, people on um, this video series and sharing their stories, and sharing their workarounds to get around or some of the obstacles that they face in their normal everyday life. So this has been Amy Shannon venting again for expose mobility for dinner. So everybody please be safe and stay well. Thank you.